exploring, wait, how can we use nature and nature's patterns to actually achieve the goals that we want in agriculture rather than fighting against nature? And we have to live in this tension as we explore that. Well, we learned that this kind of cattle ranching, where you're moving cattle every day, uh, is doing some really good things for the land and the soil. Well, we have to be very humble when it comes to the soil because we're still learning so much. But it seems there's some basic um, ecological principles that help build the soil. Um, you want to keep the soil covered, and that's what grasslands do. It, in, in Alberta, we can grow way more production using annual crops. And we do that on some of our acres. But whenever we grow an annual crop, we want to have the ground covered still. So we use uh, minimum disturbance seeding. We try not to till the land if we can help it. Most years we don't need to. Um, and we want to keep the ground covered with as much foliage as possible. So we'll grow annual species, but some of those species will stay green into September, October, and they'll re-emerge in the spring and begin photosynthesizing before we plant the next year's crop. So like nature intended, we have a living root, a photo, um, a photo panel, like a solar panel over the soil, ready to capture sunlight, you know, four to six months of the year. Um, we want to have diversity because in the economy of exchange, the economy of exchange between complex carbohydrates formed through photosynthesis and mineralization in the soil, we want to have as many players in that economy as possible. Just like our country wants to have a diverse economy, we want to have a diverse um, solar economy on our farm. So we plant many different species of plants that each play a different function and then they can feed different bugs below ground and all of that creates biomass that feeds a diversity of organisms above ground. So we're really interested in our cattle, but we know the system's working well when the bird watchers are parked on the gravel road with their telephoto lenses looking at owls or certain nesting birds on our grasslands. Why are they there? Because there's a panel, there's a diversity, um, there's snow catch, there's food. Um, so these things all work together to compound into a really elaborate dynamic landscape that the cattle contribute to, that they are helping to manage and steward.